The Pathways tool unlocks the real power of stackable digital credentials. It allows you to take your badging program to the next level and is only available to Badger Pro users. In this video, we're going to learn how to build Pathways in Badger Pro. Let's get acquainted with this tool and look at Pathways in action. To access Pathways, start in your Badger Pro org and select the issuer you'd like to build your Pathway in. From your issuer, select the Pathways tab. Existing pathways will display here. Published pathways display in color, while draft mode ones are in gray. You may not have any pathways created at this point. Click on Create Pathway to get started on a new pathway. Give your pathway a name and a description. Then click the Create Pathway button. Click Edit Pathway to begin constructing your pathway. Pathways are made of steps. To add a step, click the Add Step button and give your step a name. Each step is either required or optional. If this checkbox is selected, the step is required for completion of the pathway. If unselected, the step is optional. You might associate a step with one badge, with multiple badges, or without any badges at all. As you can see, you have many options and design choices when you build a pathway. Base your decisions on how you want your learners to experience the pathway. When learners progress through a pathway, they will start at the left and move to the right. When you are building a pathway, the opposite is true. You will consider the end goal or the final step and work backward from right to left. Your first task in creating a pathway is setting up a learner's final step. This final step of a pathway will always be on the far right of the pathway canvas. The pathway name will always display here. Each set of steps connected horizontally represents a child-parent relationship. Child steps generally require completion by a learner before they can move on to the parent step. A parent step can have multiple child steps as seen here. When you click on a parent step, the prerequisite steps are displayed on the right pane. Here you see everything the learner must do to complete the selected step. As you build each step, you'll establish requirements so your learners know exactly what they need to do to complete that step. You'll also determine what badges learners should have received or will receive once they get to each step. You can associate badges with steps as either required badges or milestone badges. A required badge is one the learner must earn as a requirement for completing a step. This is useful when the requirements of a pathway step mirror the criteria for a badge. Notice that the badge image for a required badge appears on the left-hand side of a step. A milestone badge is different. A milestone badge is automatically awarded to a learner when they reach a step. Once all the step requirements are complete, the learner progresses to the step and receives the milestone badge. These are useful when a step has multiple requirements and fulfilling them is noteworthy. As an example, let's take a look at these three child steps a learner must complete before progressing to the parent step. Completing the requirements of all three child steps, which are 21st Century Skills Category 1, 2, and 3, is a notable achievement and will be recognized with a milestone badge. Again, the learner will receive the badge automatically because it's a milestone badge. Once the learner completes all three prerequisite steps, they receive the milestone badge associated with the parent step. Note that the badge image for a milestone badge appears on the right-hand side of a step. This is often particularly desirable with the final step on a pathway. Once a learner completes all the final step's required actions, they should automatically receive a badge for completing the entire pathway. This is possible when you associate the pathway badge with the final pathway step as a milestone badge. One final note about associating badges with steps. When associating a badge as a required badge, the badge can come from within the issuer from which you are constructing your pathway, within other issuers in your organization, or you can search for open badges from other institutions. However, a badge associated as a milestone badge must be from the issuer you are using to construct the pathway. Once you've built a pathway, you'll want learners to use it. You'll add learners to pathways using groups. 
Groups are an essential part of using pathways in your organization. You can use groups to organize badge recipients into different segments or cohorts. This allows you to track learner's progress along a pathway. You may subscribe a group to more than one pathway and subscribe any number of groups to the same pathway. You must enroll learners in a group added to a pathway to track their progress through a pathway. A quick note about using pathways in a course in a learning management system, like Canvas. In order for a pathway to display in an LMS course, the issuer must first create a pathway LTI and place it in the course. This allows learners to view it in the course and it automates group enrollment. When a learner in the course views the pathway, they enroll in the group and subscribe to the pathway. Each new pathway LTI creates a different group. We include more detail about using Badger in an LMS in the Badger Admin Mastery course available to you as a Badger Pro subscriber. To enroll learners in groups within the Badger interface, go to the Pathways issuer. Select the Groups tab and click Create Group. You'll then give your group a name and a description. It helps to define standard naming conventions your organization will use for groups. This will avoid confusion as time passes. After creating a group, you can add learners individually or in bulk. Once you have populated your group, connect it with a pathway. You can do this in one of two ways. From this view, you can select the Pathways tab and choose Add Pathway. From the pathway, you can select Subscribe Group. Both approaches have the same outcome. Now you will be able to view group and learner progress along the pathway. Learners will be able to monitor their own progress as well. As you can see, Pathways is both a powerful and sophisticated tool for stacking portable, digital credentials in your Badger Pro organization. For a more immersive walkthrough of the Pathways feature, and for the resources on this subject, make sure to complete the Pathways module in the Badger Pro Admin Mastery course.